Hello, my name is Quentin Henney, and it is a pleasure to speak to you today about Goliath Resources Limited. Goliath is traded on the TSXV under the symbol GOT and on the OTCQB under the symbol GOTRF. Goliath is focused on exploring the SureBet discovery, which was made a couple of years ago. They had a, an amazing season last season and are aggressively pursuing this very exciting target this year with a program totaling 24,000 meters of drilling. They just completed a raise. I think this is one company that everyone should focus on very, very closely. I think it's going to be one of the more exciting stories of the upcoming season in Canada. Before I begin, I'll draw your attention to the forward-looking statement. This is part of the co corporate presentation on the website. I would urge you to read it at your leisure. You can see that here the board and team, Roger Rosmus is a CEO. Myself, I am a technical advisor to Crestcat Capital, a strategic shareholder of Goliath. Bill Chornaby, pro project manager, has been exploring in the Golden Triangle for many years now. It's absolutely uh, critical we have a, a strong team in place like this. I think we have a very good team to take this forward. And we have the cash to do so. You can see here that the company just completed a $14.6 million raise. It was a charity flow through deal, so the price uh, was done at a, a very high premium, nice high premium. And it gives the, the company plenty of money to drill that 24,000 meter program I mentioned. The share count is quite tight. It's 68.6 .6 million shares out with warrants and options. Comes to a fully dilute of 111 million. Uh, shares. You can see here Crestcat Capital is at 19.9%. We are very supportive of this story. Uh, again, I think this is going to be one of the more exciting stories in Canada this year. You can see here the location of Goliath's Gold Digger project. It is down near the southern terminus of the Golden Triangle. So it is south of the town of Stewart. It's north of Alice Arm. Uh, it is in an area where there was a lot of snowpack until recently. That snow has melted away recently and exposed this amazing target called Surebet. You can see here an early rendition of MAP uh, after sampling done in 2019 and then 2020. There were channel samples collected. And this shows what uh, the company's interpretation of the Surebet zone was. Uh, it basically is a vein, but it is a very, very thick vein. It, it averages about five or six meters true thickness. Uh, it is an exceptional uh, target because it, it outcrops basically along the entire rib of this mountain. It basically wraps up and around, goes over the north side and comes back down. And I'll show that in three dimensions here. But it's basically a three-dimensional target that sits above the valley floor. It's an amazing opportunity because... The vein basically is above the level at which one would tackle this, you know, through an underground working. So it's a, a unique geometry. It's one of the first I've ever seen in my career, I'll say that. You can see here that uh, Gold Digger is uh, very close to the Dolly Varden mine as well as Homestake Ridge. Those two companies have con combined here recently, uh, forming one, one big project. But we are in a good neighborhood, a lot of multi-million ounce world-class deposits in this region. Here you can see uh, an image of the Surebet zone looking down on it. The, the numbers are far too small to read, but you can see that yellow planar uh, feature hidden behind all those tags. That is the Surebet zone. Basically, the company tackled a drill program in which they drilled 24 holes in 2021. All of the holes hit mineralization. It's basically a very, very predictable feature. Uh, they even drilled one hole a far down dip in an area they call Real Deal. And on, in that hole, they also hit the structure. So the comfort around this being a continuous sheet-like uh, body that's dipping about 45 degrees to the west-southwest through this mountain, very high at this point. We feel very confident that further drilling an aggressive program this year can, can accomplish enough, uh, uh, gathering enough data that we can put together a robust resource around this. Here's a, uh, an image showing the system, the Surebet zone from uh, the sites so we're looking kind of southeast towards the northwest you can see the the feature the surebet zone dips about 45 degrees to the west southwest and again the drilling most of it was done up up dip you know towards where the the body outcrops its surface 
but there's one hole there, the one that's positioned from the real deal pad that hit the structure way, way down dip. In fact, 1.1 kilometer down dip. This is an absolutely enormous uh, target. And uh, again, the width of this structure is remarkable. This isn't just your average, uh, you say, meter wide vein or something. This is a vein that averages about 5.87 meters wide. And you can see up at the top there that the, the gold equivalent grade of this structure, it's about 6.3 grams out of all 24 holes. So this is an absolutely remarkable uh, target in, in all respects. It looks like it could be a multi-million ounce target. Here's a geologic profile, very similar to the orientation to the previous slide. You can see here the drill holes where mineralization was hit. Uh, you can also see the interpretation that connects this surebed zone with what's believed to be an intrusive center off to the west. Uh, whether the surebed zone postdates that intrusive or not, don't know yet. Probably will drill some holes down in that, that part of the system uh, to determine that. But this is a, basically a large scale, we'll call it, you know, a district scale kind of a structure that uh, definitely has potential to host a million, uh, millions of ounces of gold. You can see here a couple more images looking at the target. Uh, here we're looking at semi-transparent surface. Uh, the, the target as we currently see it is about 1.3 kilometers uh, down dip. And as it goes down dip, of course, it bells out or flares out. So it's about 2.3 kilometers wide as well and that's an absolutely enormous footprint i mean you're talking about maybe a million and a half square meters of of likely target area that can be drilled in this coming season uh, a million and a half square meters at five or six meters thick you can imagine this is going to uh, deliver a lot of tonnage here you can see the sherbet zone up in the uh on the the left hand side that uh, image uh, shows a lot of blue dra drill traces. Those are the planned holes for this coming season. Uh, the black holes were drilled in the previous season. The blue holes have been strategically designed to deliver a robust resource on the Surebet zone. Now, not only this, but the company realized uh, last year through doing some boots on the groundwork that there's a, a likely downdrop extension of the Surebet zone to the southeast. There's a, a northeast trending fault along which there's been quite a bit of displacement drop the, the east side down and you can see here uh, another target perhaps another Surebet is lurking uh, in the subsurface there. So again this could uh, easily double on the, based on that. Here you can see uh, metallurgical results. Absolutely astounding results. A lot of free gold recovered through gravity separation. So 38% free gold, but recoveries up to 98% into a flotation concentrate, concentrate basically of, of galena with precious metals. And this is the kind of product you can deliver anywhere on earth. So this is a great outcome. Uh, it suggests you don't need cyanide for this. It's a, a fairly coarse grind, great gravity recovery, and then a flotation concentrate that can be sold again anywhere on earth. Here you can see some of the core from this uh, exciting drill program that the company had last year. This is a, a short interval uh, in the picture here of a very high grade. You can see it not only does it have good gold numbers, it also has robust silver numbers as well. So this is a gold silver system. Here you can see uh, some of the, the uh, this is basically a picture of the drill results from the cliff pad up at top. You can see some of the numbers in here very stout results, uh, including 35.7 meters, 6.3 gram per ton gold equivalent, uh, some high grade results, 6.38 meters of 12.6 gram gold equivalent, etc. This is a robust structure, robust target. Here's a few more uh, pictures of the surface. You can see it outcrops again uh, up and around the mountain. The snow has melted back, uh, thus exposing this robust target. This is the mineralization you see on the right hand side. It's basically quartz with sulfide, especially pyrotite and a bit of sphalerite and galena uh, scattered through throughout. Here you can see uh, a 3D image of the drill array. This is the plan drilling for this coming season. Uh, this is again a 24,000 meter program. I think everybody should sit tight and really uh, savor this as the drill results come in from this, this uh, incredible program. I think we'll be able to show the world 
that there is at least, say, a million to a million and a half square meters of mineralized structure here. Again, about five to six meters thick. Here you can see some uh, examples from the new extension. I showed you photos previously from the shear bed zone. Well, guess what? The same quartz with sulfides are evident in this new extension. This is the area to the southeast. Again, we think this is a downdrop component of the shear bed structure, and this could be a replicate of it. In other words, we could find out that this thing has just as much potential. Grades are very good. Uh, 40 gram gold here and, and uh, in terms of gold equivalency, 75 grams, so a lot of silver uh, added value in this sample. Here you can see some uh, other examples of, of the new extension mineralization, very similar in appearance to Sherbet. Here's a beautiful sample running 14.8 gram gold equivalent. Uh, a lot of that is gold in this case, but uh, silver, again, is a major component in most of the system. And with that, I will end the presentation. I would urge you to connect with the company, their IR team, to learn more. And uh, we will look forward to telling you all about this remarkable discovery over the next few months. Thank you very much.